Hello and welcome to buildwoofunnels.com. I'm Tavleen Kaur and it's a nice weather out here. So I was just heading out to grab a quick cup of coffee for myself. But I thought I did an intro to tell you that in this video, we're talking about how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page. Now in this value loaded video, we're going to be covering quite a few things. So I'm going to show you what a conversion focused checkout page looks like so that you know what's lacking in yours. Uh, then we're going to discuss multi-step versus single step checkout forms. What converts better? Then I'm going to show you one simple tactic to make every customer more valuable for your business, which means how to increase your average order value. It's a very simple tactic. Uh, well, then we're going to go behind the scenes and take a look at how to set up a highly optimized checkout page using Arrow Checkout. Finally, I'll show you how to swap your existing checkout page, which doesn't convert very well, with a highly optimized one built using Arrow Checkout. Well, so that's what is lined up in this video stay glued but before i begin i'm sure you're wondering why do i need to customize my woocommerce checkout page what the hell is wrong with the default why can't i go with what the native offers hold your horses i'm going to give you the answer in order to answer that question let me ask you a counter question would you ever walk up to someone and give them your credit card details if you didn't trust them if you still had doubts about the product they were selling if you didn't know what their guarantee was no you wouldn't do that people always have these last minute doubts when they are on your checkout page they want to be reassured that they are making the right decision because guess what they are trying to actually tell themselves that it is a wrong decision because parting with money comes with pain and they do not want to deal with the pain so they are looking for reasons to not buy and therefore your checkout page needs credibility boosting elements and especially the checkout page because that is where all the sensitive stuff happens that is where the payment related stuff happens well so now let's just jump behind the scenes and let me show you what a conversion focused checkout page which has been built to boost credibility look like all right so here we are so this is a highly optimized checkout page and i'll give you specific reasons why so we'll highlight a few things for you which uh, which are actually very trust winning so this uh, uh header at the top this is non-clickable so there's no way that uh, one can go back so this is a distraction free header with some details about the company so that again it builds trust for the store uh, then this is a multi-step checkout form with a nice and clear progress indicator here which shows what are the following steps right and uh, so this is the form here and then you sort of move on to the next step which is continue to the shipping method now coming to the question whether multi-step checkout form converts better than a single step checkout form of course it depends on testing but I would like to link out to a case study which is published by business to community so I will link it out in the description below and uh, it shows that um, on a website when they used multi-step checkout form 14% more people filled it up and uh, it had 14% higher conversion rate and 94% confidence rate and that is because when people approached it they only saw four form fields so which really made it easy for them to fill it out and then move on to the next step so it's basically like a slippery slope the first look uh, says that oh it's easy to fill out it's not going to take a lot of time so the fact that it just minimizes overwhelm in your head is actually very encouraging and it gets people to start the process and 94 percent more people actually completed the process as well now uh, the next thing here is the order summary so on the right hand side you've got the product image with uh, the product name and uh, and the price so there is no confusion this is what you're buying this is what uh, this is what it looks like and this is the price of the product so you're very sure that you've got the right items you're very sure you're not you're not making a mistake and just in case you are we've also appended a mini cart here so you can increase or decrease the quantity of the items that you are buying so let me just increase it and show you Yep. So immediately the the uh, the total will go up. So two of these have been added, right? So here's a little quantity indicator here for the item uh, in your order. And the moment I increase the quantity, uh, the the price also went up accordingly. 
uh, right and then you've got this continue to shipping method so this is the button so when you're making a multi-step checkout form keep two things in mind number one have a progress indicator which shows where they are in their purchase journey number two have a very clear and specific call to action button note this is not a submit button or a continue button it's not a generic button it's a very specific button which tells them what is on the next step so remember the slippery slope formula the idea is to get them moving from gliding actually from one step to the next uh, then you've got your trust seals here uh, then this is the support section right uh, now again this is a very uh, effective section because it, what it does is uh, two things number one it tells people that this store is credible these guys are not running away here are the contact details in case i need to contact them they are available they're not even going to be using these details but just the presence of them makes a ton of a difference secondly there is presence of a human image now as per a research conducted by vwo.com that's visual website optimizer they showed that when there was a human image on the contact uh, section uh, of the website it converted 48 percent higher as compared to a simple icon so do not use any kind of icons or stock imagery go ahead and give that human touch that your checkout page needs to become more credible uh, well then we've got certain trust factors here 100 percent satisfaction guarantee and 2618 orders shipped again a mark of credibility 24-bit secure transactions so go ahead swipe the card the transactions are secure well, now before i move on to the next step let me show you something really interesting now this is a genius hack so it gives you the savings in dollar value and as well as in percentage uh now this is the the regular price and this is the sale price which is how it shows you the savings uh in dollar and percentage value here right similarly it does it for this but not for this because uh, obviously the sale price and regular price are the same now the reason why this is such a genius tactic is because you must understand that people are looking for reasons to not buy to not complete the purchase because parting with money comes with pain right so this hack what it does is that it tells them it gives them credible reason to complete the purchase so this will help you although no matter how small it looks but this little tactic will definitely help you lower your checkout abandonment rate so um yes and and then uh, one more thing as i showed you this is a mini cart so they can delete the item that they do not want and also they can recover the delete the deleted item right so with that said let's now move on to the next step all right so this is the shipping method where all your different shipping methods will appear like the fedex and everything right this is payment information section again this is uneditable from uh, the the back the back end uh, this appears on a default now this is another genius hack so basically this is an order bump so the way i've set it up is that when they're making a purchase from the makeup category which in this case they are uh, pitch them a makeup cow pouch as an order bump so of course a very useful item and also a no-brainer buy because it's a low dollar product so people can simply add it to their order by a simple tick on the checkbox this will get added to their order like this right and that's it they can go ahead and place the order all right, so now let me take you behind the scenes of this checkout page and show you how it was built. So here we are. Now this is the, uh, well, this is Arrow Checkout and these are all the checkout pages that we've built. Now this is the one that I built specifically for uh, this one right here and it says Global Checkout for the website because that's what I intend to do with it. That I intend to make it a global checkout for all the products across the store. So let's go on products and let me show you how I built it. All right, so here we are now here this is uh, you can turn it in the sandbox mode or in the live mode further this is the name of the checkout you can always edit it if you like so the first step is product so you have to add a product here so uh, you can add any product here so uh, it, it could be any product because what you must remember is that here we're not creating a product specific checkout page but we're creating a global checkout page so in that case it's irrelevant which product you select it could be any product Further, you can leave these values to a default, doesn't matter what you select here, uh, because again, we're trying to only generate a preview here, which is why you selected a product. Even with these options, leave it to a default, 
uh, doesn't matter which of these three options you've selected because again it matters in case of a product specific checkout page or an order form so let's just save the product and then we we'll move on to the next section which is the form section now in the form section so this was a two-step checkout form that i showed you uh, this is step one and this is step two in the step one we've select we've uh, we've got the contact shipping address and your product so these are three sections we've got within each of these we've got these fields so in the contact information we've got first name last name email now you can simply drag and drop these fields to reorder them you can also remove the field that you do not want and drag and drop it and keep it in the section where you want to collect the information so adding editing reordering everything happens very easily this is how you select uh, you add a new field so you simply select which field type you want and fill out the remaining details and you will have a new field uh, ready to be dragged and dropped into the section that you like now let me show you something interesting now when you click here use different billing address you can fill it out otherwise on a default this is actually unchecked so it assumes that your shipping and billing address would be the same and only when you check this box uh, you, you're allowed to fill this out so how have we done this let me show you in the back end well it's coming up that way is because in the billing address we've made this live so this is uh, different from shipping address so only when they tick on the checkbox will the billing address field appear so that becomes an optional field otherwise it will be assumed that the billing details and the shipping details are the same so another interesting section is the your product section let me show you in the front end well so this is the your product section here's what's in your order and then you've got the products here so the mini cart is appended here let me show you how we configured it so this is the your product section and here this is the the form field and we've got three tabs here general description advance now in the general tab this is the product name and this is the text beneath it so it says you save and there's a merge tag for saving value and uh here is the percentage right so this is the merge tag for percentage enable product deletion yes we've ticked this so that it becomes a mini card and then we've got the description this is something that you should not bother about when you're creating a global checkout because this is again valid for product specific checkout page so take a look so this is the section here and you've got you save and then uh, this is in dollar value and in brackets we've got it in percentage so this is coming from so this is the regular price this is the sale price and that's how it's calculating it and it is showing it up here and uh, in case uh, uh, in, the, in the products where these savings are not valid this line will not show up so that's the form section once you have set this up you're just going to save the form and once it is saved you go into the design section now in the design section you will see that you've got a few custom templates here you simply have to uh, select one of the templates and then just edit it it's like pre-built lego pieces laid out for you already so these are the templates that we've got i've used the first template because it's the most apt for creating a global checkout so you hit customize yes so now you will be able to change the colors uh, the the text here uh, on the progress indicator so on and so forth you'll be able to customize all these elements according to you for example this little thing here so i've made it blue which goes with my theme color so here's how i changed it so this is the order summary this is the, this is the heading the font size all of this is editable you can give a border here and this is the quantity background which is a uh, blue that i've added here which matches with my cta button and also the quantity text uh, color which is white here so you can edit each of these sections by clicking on the pencil icon like in this case i've edited this section so i've added this image here within the text so on and so forth so i will not go into the details because i will leave it for you to explore it is indeed a child's play well so once all of that is done all your products form design and setting sections are configured you go into the global settings and in here you go into miscellaneous and here it says override default checkout and then you select the checkout from the drop down that you've created to turn into a global checkout and then no matter what product they buy they will see this checkout page that you've created uh, using arrow checkout so that's about it if you have any questions related to arrow checkout or how to customize your woocommerce checkout play page please go ahead and leave them in the comment box below do not forget to explore arrow checkout in detail 
hit like for this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more such videos. I'll be back with value loaded videos in my next section. Thank you so much for watching. That's me, Tavleen, signing out.